एवरीवन एनदर सेशन एनदर टॉपिक लेयर्स ऑफ एनर्जी देर आर थ्री लेयर्स ऑफ एनर्जी एनर्जी इज वन बट इट ऑपरेट्स एट थ्री लेयर्स whether it is in existence or within you these three layers are first frozen which is physical second fluid like which is emotional and the third is existential cosmic or evaporated form existential energy comes into you as existential bio energy it interacts with various centers within you and then the emotion the moods so it becomes frozen frozen it is the gross level it has takes too much of volume and if it is allowed it melts wherever it is and creates chaos disturbance this is what we see happening all around us at this level the energy is frozen it is voluminous wherever the piece of ice falls it melts right there and the fluid spreads all around at this level you can see the dis inner disturbance in you many times circumstances and situation does not allow us to have the exuberance that we do we any situation comes in you are interacting in the world of objects and beings with your husband wife employees commuter customers or anyone you utter certain things which are not necessary at that time they are not called for this is the outcome of frozen energy when true your own process of breathing and other things the energy begins to melt it becomes fluid like its direction can be channelized it can flow in a particular channel you can guide the direction of the energy that energy can be used consciously into creative realms unconsciously it goes into uncreative realms i am not using the word purposely destructive uncreative anything if you use the word destructive you have gone to one extreme and you have denied the possibility of its changing its direction if something is uncreative you are already in that act it can be creative with a certain modifications the act the energy can be directed into creative forms just as ice is melting the water is flowing you can direct it into in such a way that it can go to your garden 
to your field or something or the other. Even if you collect the water through a vacuum cleaner or any other method, it can be used in a creative manner. So this is the second layer of energy. At this, you are a little more relaxed. You can direct energy into your resources, into creative or uncreative manner. With conscious effort, consciously, it can be channelized into creative realm. Unconsciously, it goes into uncreative realms. When the same water is put on to the fire, it is done in a proper manner. The frozen item you have put it you have put into a pot and the pot is placed on the fire it starts melting first and then this is an effort to melt the frozen energy I'm giving you an example and then come back how it can be done in your life so then it starts evaporating you can use it for the creative purposes or if the fluid energy, the fluid water is not available, you can use the frozen water, melt it and convert it into making your tea, coffee or anything else. And if you do not need that, it will evaporate and become the part of the cosmos. So the energy merges into the entire cosmos. A similar process happens within a human being. When you understand the nature of the breathing, breathing is the bridge that connects, establishes a connection between all the three layers of energy. At the frozen layer or at the level of the body, the work has to happen at that level. All the work has to happen at the level of the body in collaboration with the mind. So you can use, if you have to climb the, you have to do something which requires too much of energy. You have seen the people who do the weight lifting. So they do a certain exercise, the breathing pattern follow a certain breathing pattern, then do some physical gestures and are able to lift the weight. You are climbing on the mountain or a staircase, you need more energy. You can create, generate more energy by changing the breathing patterns in a creative manner. When you are angry your breathing pattern becomes chaotic and as the harmony between the emotions and the, because the mind guides all your activities and real action happens at the level of the body then slowly and slowly your breathing becomes rhythmic then it slows down when it is slow down, your energy level goes up high. So that is where when we do, we focus on the breathing patterns and you are sitting down in meditation, you are using the gazing meditation, for instance. You are looking into the eyes of the master. So when you are looking into the eyes, mind the eyes bridge between is a bridge between mind and your heart. So you are moving, you are bridging the two faculties within you. So slowly and slowly you realize that your you start with a form, you are looking at the form of the person, the master, your spouse, 
or you can use this by looking at yourself into the mirror your eyes into the mirror if either anything else is not available master is not available spouse is not available you can use the mirror sit down in front of the mirror look into your own eyes in the mirror and the same thing happens or you can create a position the fingers interlocked into one another close it and these two fingers and the thumb you can keep it on your palm and you can look at the two index fingers together and that way also you can enter into within you so master becomes the door your you become the door through which you move from the mind to the heart and then to the being when the two are combined together and new faculty is developed you become aware of that that is your being that is your soul and that is the the space within the the breathing bridges the two so you can say love but love cannot do anything on its own unless the breathing becomes as the love deepens the breathing becomes more and more rhythmic and it reaches to a point where you feel that you are not breathing you begin this meditation with a form you are looking at the form of your spouse your master your own but there are gaps comes in when you move completely form to formless you realize that the your eyes will not blink the eyes the blinking of the eyes is a reflection of the thought process going on in the mind as the eyes in the beginning eyes will get strained will feel strained but if you continue the eyes will feel more and more relaxed the thought patterns will become the either it will stop or the gaps between the two thoughts will start widening one thought came in then after a long interval the next thought comes in and then suddenly your breathing also slows down and you will feel that you are not breathing at all but breathing is happening but it is at a very low level you are conscious at times it may happen you may uh, they disappear you may say that i fell asleep no you have fallen into the gap between the mind and the heart the space between the two and you will find observe that the person in front of whom you are sitting or through the whose eyes as a door you are entering into him but you are really entering into you that disappears so you are moving from form to formless so practice this your levels of energy will change you will move the energy from the physical the frozen to the fluid to the evaporation level and this is one of the potent meditation that you can continue doing continue doing if you have the opportunity to do this meditation with your master do it if not do it looking at your own face in the mirror or doing this exercise or you can keep the finger but this is much more relaxed you can do this way you are sitting in the office you have the the this gesture on your lap and you are meditating and feel and experience the bliss within